Up next, the Americans. Meryl Davis and Charlie White, the only Americans to ever win a world title in ice dance. That was in 2011. That year, they defeated Canada's Tessa Virtue and Stop Moyer. In the past few years, their real only rivals have, have been their training partners. So every time the Americans meet the Olympic champions, it's a real test for them and a real treat for the fans and for us to watch. Such a treat, Brenda. I agree with you. And here today, they will perform two selections from Notre Dame de Paris. The former world champions and Olympic silver medalists have the crowd here in Osaka on their feet. 
The last time we saw this team perform this free dance was at the Grand Prix final in December. What's the, what's the biggest difference that you've seen between now and then? Well, they have made some slight changes choreog choreographically. There's the uh, American teammates cheering them on. I just watched them at the U.S. Championships where I thought that was their best performance of it. They worked it just a little bit more today. You can see their fatigue, but a big trip from their nationals here to Japan to compete. But what they do is they skate at with absolute conviction a totally free expression their score is coming up as well the reigning world and olympic champions from canada try to even the season score with their american rivals a little breather and well earned um, it was at that moment in the program when they did that half revolution hop forward into the twizzles and once again nailed every difficult element. I'm thinking that this team skates almost 100% of their potential every right. time. You know, you're right there, and, and it's a little like Elvis Stoiko, you know? Yeah, I was thinking it's of Elvis intimidating for the rest of the field. There's the hop into the twizzle that and you were talking about. Here. Yeah. Yes, they do change a little bit in terms of the space between them. They have such an athletic, powerful style. And so when you're looking at the two teams, they don't dance to me as much as go out aggressively after it. It's trick, attack, trick, trick, trick. but they attack. And what they do, they do beautifully in terms of the technical levels. Um, the athleticism, and again, they just get right into the music. Well, I kind of dare you to look away when mm -hmm. they dance mm -hmm. or when they perform. That's you're gonna you're gonna miss something. Well, with a team like this, what they want to do is is see those season best scores continue to improve. Remember, we're just a, a couple of weeks away from the World Championships, and there, a Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer waiting to skate their season best score came at the Grand Prix final and this is a score of 110 points. Yeah, this will be higher. And you are right, 112.68, just a couple of points, but important that they see those scores grow over the course of the season. And you may think to yourself, you know, we're the better team, we've got this great project that we love, we're going to skate well, and we know that, but we can't make any mistakes, because these guys never do. You cannot put a foot wrong, and you could see Marina Zueva. She was in the picture, checking out the marks out of the picture because.